Central to the Sutori experience is the Students tab. But why invite students? Well, there are three main reasons. The first is you can access student work at any time and provide feedback. The second is you have access to stats, such as quiz results and the time spent working or viewing on a project. And the third is it grants unlimited access to all of your students. Now, there are three ways you can invite your students. You can invite them through Google Classroom, through Clever, or you can do it in a more manual mode through the teacher code. So once your students are signed up to Sutori, provide them with your teacher code, which is unique, and then they can add you very easily. Once students have added you, they will appear here in this list of students. As you can see, it's a very flexible interface. So I can sort them by first name, by last name, or by last login, and also by tags. Tags are a useful way to organize your students into classes or groups. So if you import your students from Clever or Google Classroom, they will automatically be assigned a tag. You can edit these tags at all times or add them. For example, here, Daniel doesn't have any. I'm gonna add tag, well, history. And as you see, the tag here appears in the top right. Then I can sort them by tag. Period three, I have all the students in period three. I can also add a second tag to a student if I wish to do so. Let's take a look at Maria's work. So here I have access to all of the projects she created on Sutori. As this student is under 13, I can also change her password. Can be handy. Let's check out the work she did on Egyptian hieroglyphs. So this is her project. I can access automatically everything, and I can also add a comment. But first, let's take a look at some of the stats. So here I have an overview of the story, the number of items she's created. This can be handy if you have very specific assignment instructions. What we're gonna look at here are the time, the time tab. Here I can see how long she spent actually working on her project. So this is 22 minutes. Well, this gives me an indication that she's actually done some work and not simply copy pasted from the internet. And we'll take a look at the quiz tab a bit later. A good feedback improves student learning. And as you can see, I can provide comments on any item. So this enables to give more precise uh, feedback. Here, I'm just gonna put something general. Good job and the student will have access to these comments and receive a notification too. Now let's take a look at a group project. So I shared with my students a project, a quiz. I'm gonna take a look. I can also access the analytics from this view. So I'm gonna click view stats. So here on the quiz, section so i can see that i shared this with three of my students and all three uh, have done the work uh, and I, this is there are only 10 questions so they got eight out of ten six out of ten i can see that maria here there's one question she hasn't replied but she got three incorrect and six correct i can go down and see individually which students got which question wrong so here this one i can see that nick struggled to answer this one Again, here, Nick, for these questions. So this gives me feedback, which I might not otherwise have. The quizzes on Sutori are more formative than summative, but they are a useful indication nevertheless.